<laughs> so, as you can see, it's possible to walk around. So the analog stick is totally fine. With the, it's not like an on-off switch. And uh, I'm just gonna play a little bit of uh, Super Mario just for, for testing. Okay, let's put it here. So I'm, this is the other emulator. This is N64 OE. There's a button to do this thing when I'm in the air. I don't know. I need to map it right. I mean that's in the that's in the settings. If I go in the settings over here, this is this just this emulator. So oh that's not the key map. Oh actually this is the key mapping. So I set the D-pad, the C pad, I'm not totally sure. I forgot what it is, the C pad. Uh, but you set the different ones, and down here you have analog left, analog right, analog up, analog down. That's the analog stick down here. And the D-pad is this one. And uh, I'm going to try another game. Okay, right. So I'm going to play this game, which is totally super crazy awesome. And that's also in the 64 game. So just to show you that the analog stick is... Uh, is uh, totally usable. This game is so fantastic. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Try to do a jump on that, that wave. It wasn't a big enough wave for that. I tried to do the, uh, the flip. This game is so awesome. It's like a thousand times better than uh, whatever. What's the name of that similar game? Oh. Actually, yeah, there's, a, there's another game that's similar on Android right now. So I can show you, I'm just moving you know, slightly, slightly. That's, it's, a, it's a real analog stick. It's not a fake analog stick, right? I got a few comments, people asking, is it real analog stick or is it on or off? It's not, I'm just like slightly moving, you know? I can move fast, I can move big, I can move small. It has uh, more than one position, it's real. Ah, I always try to do a jump on that one. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna quit the game. I'm gonna go in... Uh, I'm gonna go in normal warm-up. I'm gonna go in the warm-up thing. The warm-up is so cool. Okay. Go in here. Start. Damn, these games were so awesome. Was it, was it 18 years ago? Yeah. 16? 16 years ago? Try a double double jump, double flip, just to see if I can uh, get my old skills back on the double flip. Um, take as much speed as possible. Okay, well, that's this this game. Let's try another game. So here's a, just a little bit of Wipeout 64. Just to show that it is playable. I don't know if it's always been like a... I don't know if the, the Nintendo 64 version of Wipeout is the best ever. I don't know. Might not. I can definitely like use the analog stick. 
you can also use this, these up here, and these are like, uh, these are on off, right, up here. d pad. You see me touching the button here. But the analog stick is uh, smooth, right, left. Okay, let's do another, another game. Yeah. I'm just going to show that the uh, Angry Birds works as well. But it's kind of like optimized for playing on the screen, right? Because what you want to do is like zoom in, zoom out and stuff. You want to do these kinds of things. And uh, this is kind of like a touch screen optimized game. So, but it was to show that you could use the analog stick. I didn't use it actually. Because of a reflex. Let's do something else. We do become racing. I remember renting this game at the Blockbuster because I didn't buy it, but I rented it once. Oh, well, I shouldn't say that. I'll probably have a copy. I bought it actually. Banana for me. You can shoot bananas. It's that place. It's just super smooth. I think this is this this can probably add a few hours of fun maybe. Let's try the little Mario Kart. No, 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 don't kill. Okay, it's fine. I'll try it again. Start from the beginning. Stop and start. Can you stop and start? A few frame skips. Oops. But I think uh, the Nintendo 64 emulation is still. Uh, going to be optimized, not just for this, but for every Android device. Oh. Okay, that's nuts. Oh. 